The BT toxin breaks open the stomach of insects and kills them. It pokes little holes in the cells causing leakage. And the EPA approved it to be produced in every cell of the corn plant on the basis of a untested assumptions that it was destroyed in the digestive tract of mammals and humans and that it had no interaction with human cells. But in February of this year, they took corn that was genetically engineered to produce BT toxin, they took out the toxin, exposed it to human cells, and in February they published a study showing that it poked holes in human cells causing leakage. But don't worry, it's destroyed during digestion, right? Until last year's study, when in Canada, they found the BT toxin in 93% of the pregnant women tested, and 80% of their unborn fetuses. And fetuses don't have a developed blood-brain barrier, so we may have BT on the brain in this generation. Now, BT toxin should wash out of the blood fairly quickly, so where are they getting the BT toxin input so often? They're not in Mexico eating corn tortillas every day. The scientists speculated that it was actually the milk and meat of animals that do eat BT corn every day, and that it survived their digestion, remained intact, survived human digestion, and ended up in their bloodstream. I have a different idea. The only human feeding study ever published showed that genes from soybeans that make the soybeans Roundup ready, not killable with Roundup. And that's the main reason they genetically engineer the crop, to make herbicide tolerant crops to sell more herbicide. And they've used more like 527 million pounds more herbicide was sold in the United States because of GMOs in the first 16 years. So they looked at the gene, they looked inside the gut bacteria of these human subjects. It was a brilliant study. They took seven human volunteers. They had elostomy bags. They had their lower intestines removed, not for the study. <laughs> and they fed them a soy burger and a soy milk, looked inside the bag to see how much intact genetically modified DNA had survived passage. But before they even fed them the meal, in three of the seven human volunteers, inside the DNA of the gut bacteria in their gut, was the Roundup Ready gene and the promoter which switches it on. And this bacteria was unkillable with Roundup, suggesting that the gene that had transferred was functioning. Now we know that the Roundup Ready protein has properties of an allergen and I can't imagine having an allergen continuously produced inside our own intestines, but that may be the case. BT toxin. BT toxin is an allergen. It pokes holes in the cells of humans. It's found in corn chips. What if the genes that produce the BT toxin transfer and turn the intestinal floor into living pesticide factories? That might explain the 93% of pregnant women in Canada having BT toxin in their gene, in their blood. And if that's the case, and we're po poking holes in our intestinal walls getting leaky gut, some scientists link that to food allergies, autoimmune disease, inflammation, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, autism, and other problems, all of which are on the rise.